All right, this is the moment that every mixed martial arts athlete hopes will materialize. The number one heavyweight contender making the walk for his first title fight here in the U.S. I mean, the nerves are going crazy for this man right now. He's so nervous. Has he done everything he needs to do? Has he not left any stone unturned? He says that he has prepared. He says that his body's ready. His mind's ready. He feels physically good in the spot. He's taking on a long-rated champion. If he's going to get this done, it's going to take something truly special. He does not believe jitters will be a factor here tonight. He has built his career methodically to this point. We'll see if we hear the words and new by night end. John Jones has stepped into the octagon. This time, he wants to leave with that championship belt. to a visual you thought you may never see Muhammad Ali taking his act to the octagon and a lot of people out there betting on this man think he's going to realize success here tonight. Well why would you not expect it right? The guy has done everything he has ever said he was going to do from becoming an Olympic gold medalist to becoming the heavyweight world champion to becoming the greatest boxer the world has ever seen. This guy is a fearless competitor. He has tremendous hand speed unbelievable footwork but it won't be those gifts that allow him to find success in the ufc he's gonna have to fix everything up sort of felt like he had exhausted the boxing world felt like this was the next professional challenge perhaps a case of be careful what you wish for muhammad ali gracing the octagon here tonight the greatest of all time muhammad ali set to fight John Bones Jones. Our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Here once more is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Muhammad Ali. All right, Herb Dean, our referee for this one, just about to get underway. All right, so back in 1976, Muhammad Ali tried his hand against Antonio Inoki. It was billed as the War of the Worlds. Tonight, though, is his mixed martial arts debut, and it comes against the consensus greatest of all time, John Bones Jones. And the only reason you get John Jones in fight number one is because you're Muhammad Ali. You go right to the front of the line. All the things that Ali have accomplished in his life lets him stand amongst the giants. John Jones looks forward to a massive opportunity to cement himself as one of the greatest combat athletes of all time. That punch, no good. These guys are trying to knock each other out. This is a phenomenal fight. Misses with the right hand. Just out of range with that right hand. Well, John Jones showing you some of those new weapons here tonight. Mike Winklejohn is always fond of saying you don't see 30% of what Johnny Bones is able to do in the gym. And with every passing fight, starting to show the that was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly. 
and it hurt his opponent very bad. Oh, right, you see his high-level footwork here, maybe trying to set up that hook shot again. You can tell Johnny's setting a trap. He's trying to walk his opponent back into his hook side, his big power side. So he'll keep faint, not little punches, with no intent to land, just to get his opponent where he needs him to be to land that kill shot. Well, let's see if he goes to set up the hook again. He has really done a nice job pumping. Oh! Another one! So some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to starting to add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack. Not being one-dimensional, not headhunting inside the octagon. I, I think he's fought beautifully right now and he's starting to show himself. Jones is in half court. All right, so now blood is a factor. You see that he has been opened up in that eye area. Yeah, he's got hit in the eye and now there's a cut. But it's nothing to worry about too much now. But he's got to be very careful with it as we go forward. All right, he's got him in the north-south. Oh, Kimura now. Oh, he's got the Kimura locked in. This has got to be the end of the fight. This could be the end of the fight. He gets out, though. Wow. Yeah, he did a great job of straightening his arm. And then when his arm straightened, he followed the momentum going in that direction to free himself from that Kimura attempt. All right, so that's the end of the round. Potential adversity here. He's got a cut on his cheek sustained from that strike in the round. Now the focus becomes maximizing these 60 seconds, shutting that cut and preventing it from becoming a major factor here moving forward. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went headhunting, landed, nearly got the finish too. A lot of coaches tell you don't headhunt. In this case, he's been headhunting and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. You ready to fight? Ready. Round two is underway. Oh, nice jab to the head by Jones. He's got to start moving his head. He cannot take this many shots to the head. Oh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Nice jab there by Johnny Bones, and man, what Daniel Cormier would do to have an 84 inch reach. Of course, it's one thing to have length, it's another to use it to great effect. I'm not sure anybody has mastered it like the future Hall of Fame of Johnny Bones. Oh, brutal knee to the body. Trying to go to the body now with the kick, that one misses. Well, as my favorite rap group Onyx would say, oh, huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Two minutes have gone by. Tries to work it into a takedown. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Oh, he's hurt bad. Good block. Jones going for the takedown here. Nothing doing that. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. One minute now, says the round two clock. Nice jab. He threw by a knee and it landed to the head. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed.
Jones' uppercut to the head. That one, though, blocked by the defense. You buy the ticket to see fights like this. What a fight. Single collar tie now. Oh. 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 Ten minutes in the can. All right, so the round is over, but not before damage was done. Cut on the cheek, sustained in that round. Cut man in there quickly as usual to try to seal it up. All right, we'll re-rack some replays from the previous round as they attend to that pretty nasty cut in his eye area. You gotta lock in defensively, man. You cannot be out there just fighting. His opponent is too high level to try to fight him with his ego. Now he's dealing with a nasty cut over his eye. Why do you need another thing to manage when you already got one of the best fighters in the world in front of you? Ready to fight? Ready. All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. That's the huge strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. All right, this position now. Oh, more attack. Yup. Oh, he's got the Kamora position locked in now. Had the submission in very tight, but as it started to slip, he went right back to the dominant position. Making all these shots count. All right, north-south position now. We'll see who transitions first. Three minutes to go in round three. Look at the torso on the right side. Major bruising, and it's only getting worse. Grounded him and pounded him. Nice job. All these actions, though, these big actions, got to wear on the gas tank of both guys. Punch over the top. Well, earlier in the round, he clearly got stunned by his opponent, but he just has not responded well at all. He hasn't responded well. He hasn't gotten himself back going after getting hurt so bad early in the round. Oh, nice takedown defense. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Jones has got a bruise appearing on that left side right now. You gotta think that body investment is gonna pay dividends later. Look at the turtle in that kick. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. A big, massive hook that really has put his opponent on skates. All right, well, he rocked him pretty good, but didn't sort of smell blood in the water, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, blood's in the water. You got to go and get it. You got to go find the finish. You cannot let him off the hook like that, because now he will be motivated to try to go and hurt you as you hurt him. Oh, the takedown attempt's starting to pile up. Here's another one. Unable to secure. Oh. That's three rounds. We're now headed to the championship rounds. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of what was a great round, DC. Got to talk about that knockdown. What a fantastic round. He was able to set up a great shot, got the knockdown. You have to be feeling good as he walks back to the corner. All right, so a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's your replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well, but when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal, and if he can land, he does have the ability to damage it. You ready to fight? Ready. Let's do Fourth it. round now, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. So here we go with our fourth round of a possible buck. What a setup. He lands a beautiful flying knee. 
punches. Big oh, strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he is trying to chase down that thing. His left, his left leg already on the outside. The inside of the right leg is going to start looking at like that too very soon. He takes any more of those inside kicks. Takedown defense is there. Oh, doing work with the jab. Well, now that cut in the eye area, Daniel, becoming a major storyline. He's got to be careful. He's got to be very careful and address it right now before it gets to the point that there's nothing you can do about it. Just over three minutes to go. Hook shot lands. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Jones goes for the takedown and misses. Oh, lands another beautiful strike to the body. Really starting to connect at will when it comes to work in the body, and especially effective doing it later in this fight. Didn't see a lot of that from him in the earlier rounds. And a huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it in the fight. Great punch landed with so much power. He just seems much more confident and comfortable on the feet. Well, I think I can smell the blood at this point in time. That canvas didn't look like that a few fights ago. Blood is flowing from that cut with every passing strike. Every strike. And... Jones goes for the clinch here. Looks like he's trying to recover. He was stunned a little bit earlier. Let's see if he can get a respite here. Well, that body kick was oh, got to keep pressing here. That's it. That'll do it. Oh, my goodness. I mean, you got to be kidding me with that knockout. If that is not the number one play on SportsCenter tonight, I'm not sure what would top it. One of the best knockouts we've seen all week. In a very long time. I have not seen someone look this good. He promised us something, and he delivered with that beautiful knockout. All right, the official decision is in. Here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 17 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Muhammad So there is the man they are all still...